Citizen in that puts him just as low. A single impact would drop any of these players right now. They've got to be super cautious. They don't get hit by the wide swing of the Pokeball. 20 seconds. Citizen's still above the hatch. They're trying to apply some pressure elsewhere, but there's smoke canisters to contend with. There's maybe cap cans. And that's, again, all damage that will be lethal in this state. G2 are doing their best to try and recover something, but it's just going to have to turn to a mad dash underneath the kitchen hatch here. They're going to go for the drop pretty much instantly. There is still some of a stretch. Uno has the ability to find it, but it's just fed into the first. Citizen battles back, and they just time it to get their first heroic. He has an idea of this billiards player. You can hear the drones about to worry. He's got to take this fight sooner rather than later. The reveal is there. He's there to try and serve up, but 40 seconds. And it's still a fight on the wrong floor. Sloth finds Citizen from above. Gets that support. Gets that swing round. Alamau's lost. Grizzly isn't. He locks out Virtue. Prano's outside a smoked out balcony. The Monty gets a single kill on the stairs. But again, 20 seconds. Kit's still in the pocket of Prano. He cannot get an access or an entrance there. He's going to try and burn and flash his way around. The Monty is just having to pistol whip and swing his way around corners and corridors. But at this point heroic they're still in total control absolutely there's very little g2 can do here alamo he manages to find one with a pistol but it's going to be a consolation kill and no more as grizzly he locks it down and that's going to be two nil to heroic grizzly is in a tricky situation but uno has his back the finish man of cool is able to keep it and drop that player out on the swing virtue's crept his way in do they know about the player that's underneath though are they aware gorgona was the reason they took so much damage Oh, Grizzly's done the last bit. Almost caught as he ran out of the smoke canister. Virtue does get the end. But again, it's a two versus three. Virtue massively injured. The third canister pops off. The kit's still cold. The drop and the grenade rocked. Very well played there by Citizen. And he's able to put them back into a two versus two. They're seeing if they can get the catch on the mirror. They don't quite get that connection. Gona, though, he's now in a position to get this. If he can time this right, oh, if either of them can... They know, they know that he's down there, but it was just the angle that eluded Virtue. He gets himself up onto the catwalk. Gorgona's going to have to get moving if he wants to be able to have any impact here. He's going to get an absolute freebie! A citizen tries to get himself up the catwalk stairs. Can he finish things off? He's got that diffuser down on the ground. He's going to cover it as long as he can. And Virtue, he's only one bullet away. Gorgona finds it. And what a play from the oil pit. Unreal from Gorgona. And Heroic clinging on there at what was a valiant G2 effort, but just not. Not this enough. time, so it has been possible for Alamo to open that up with the sledge and at least give them an angle of attack in there. But they're not going to be using that with the kitchen hatch, so your operational viability of dirt becomes limited then because you're not going to be supporting it from the other side. Virtue starts us off on Gorgona, but Sloth, he's going big again. He's from behind that mirror, gets himself a double. Citizen's found himself inside a site. We've got a ring around the roses. Who's going to win out on this one? It's going to be Grizzly. Alamo finds the trade, but 1v2 time running out. There's nothing he can do. It's going to be 4-0 heroic. What is going on here? It would have been a kill, but Uno with a sliver of health is lying down. Ben to dropped on the door, you know, sits and waits for his prey, hoping he's still going to test. And Sloth is now going to see if he can slow the door. And there it is, the swing round, the pick up, and suddenly there's no back line to this push. However, there is Jacuzzi, and that gives them at least a secondary angle. Virtue goes next. Sloth and Grizzly, the last two, moving and manipulating the little corner of play space they have in the middle as Prano hops in. There's Grizzly getting one more, and now it's just Prano pre fired but caught Grizzly. Pushes Heroic, and again, it is close for G2, but again, it is a win for Heroic. 5-0. to zero. Don't get away with this one again. Uno, of course, bringing it a little bit closer, but G2 are taking the time. They're drawing out here. They know where Grizzly is, and Doki's going to find him. That's the kill that they needed, and that's going to be the catalyst for the round. 1 minute 15 left to go, and G2, you're about to see some aggression from them, I think, as they will start pushing in. Doki finding Sloth. Heroic knowing that it's just roll with the dice time they've got to take every opportunity they can trying to make something happen they won't mind at all though uno manages to find doki with a headshot 1v3 low health and gonna be finished off by alamo heroic finish out the half 5-1 with g2 managing to get their first round on the board in that final sixth round off on the left hand side of your screen so benja he's aware of that looking to join uno potentially doki on the roam alamo is going to open us up with one onto sloth and that could be a big problem here but benja able to find virtue and that opens things up for the Monty to move in but yet again these kills they just trade back and forward but now G2 able to double down it's all coming in to the dirt tunnel push they get know that early kill in that first take from Alamau who followed up with a second 
but they had the bodies in place. Doki getting the ki uh, the kill, the pick on his rotate back round to site, and then Citizen <laughs> going up for almost two more here, finds them both with an Echo Drone doing the busybody work at the feet. They always had a plan B, they always had a back line, and now they have a second round. Seeing if they can get a catch, but with players still above, it's not an easy place to play. It's not a place you can really be confident in all the time. There goes one of the Echo Drones, and that puts Prano in a situation now where he's got to use his gun. Citizen suffers next, but 15 seconds, and here it goes. Virtue's going to find Heroic. They have to get in and start getting this diffuser down here, and it is currently on the ground. Benja manages to find Dorky, though. Level things up three versus three. Gorgona collects diffuser. He's in a position to put this down. There is some cover in place. It's going to be for Benja, but no, Citizen on the flank manages to get both, and that is a solid defense from G2. Two in a row, and you start looking at the possibility that they could run this. This back. The location coming from Lounge. That is the big problem for Sloth at the minute. If he's not aware of that, he could get hit hard. Doki goes in, and it's Alamau ultimately that finds the kill. They double up on him, and they clear him out. Alamau on a second. He's going on a tear so far this game. Prano, he gets in on the action. Grizzly managing to get one, but it's probably too little too late. 56 seconds left to go. 1v4, and it's all for Uno to do, and he's on the thermite. All he can really do is hold this main stairs angle for maybe 20, 25 seconds. This two things going on here. He's probably giving the team an opportunity to talk, but he's waiting for G2 to feed into him, and that's what they do to a degree. Alamau giving him one of the four that he needs, but now for Uno, he knows he has to move. It has to come down to him. That was it. It was a bit of a gamble. Sloth before he tried to throw himself into the fight, got caught by two different angles. He actually got the first aggression against Doki, but then Alamau took the drop as well. That was that combination of players that really took the end and then the follow-up instantly well, there's a spray around but Citizen doesn't quite get the follow-up. Citizen is just playing on the narrowest of angles so far this game. Prano getting aggressive on the Echo, just wants to be careful, doesn't want to throw away the opportunity to use those Yokai drones and he will indeed do that as Benjamin manages to find the kill. Sloth is down though, he's going to be picked up now. Straight away, the kill gets confirmed. It's 2v2. Diffuser is going down, though. Can Grizzly stick this? Unlikely, as the cover is taken out. Benja's dead. He gets his man. He can't fight his way out. And yet again, G2 find a way. Citizen disabling that diffuser. They lock down Church and Arsenal. And this one is on. 5-5. Five, five. There's a minute on. If you can pull off a bit of a surprise stretch play, it could be huge. And you have a C4 in pocket. What are you going to do with it? Prano. Here's that back line, and they do might have still some Echo Drones. It's a trade out, though. It's all across the board, and now it's just Alamau in a post plant situation. Gets the first on the Dora Lounge. Almost finds the second. The pings are hot and red, but not quite there. There's a bit of a Hail Mary C4 throw, but there's a body above the hatch. And who knows out there? Heroic! Hey, it took you just as many to find your first. However, unlike your opponents, you now have an option to find a second. And the three points. Heroic here, back on the drones, late in the round. Two-minute mark, and they are still trying to find who is where. Citizen is still inside a CCTV, but Grizzly able to find a nice kill there. Alamo nearly finds himself a freebie as one just strolls across the window. Prano taking damage. It's all coming down to this. Grizzly is down. It's effectively now a one versus three, and this is not going to happen for Alamo, I don't think. He's on the pistol. He knows where they're coming from, but can do nothing about it. Final kill. And that's going to be 7-5 heroic after what was a major scare from G2 for them. <laughs>